Okay, we'll continue with 710. I know there's quite a few videos here. Um, but now let's look at two other kinds of explosive separations. Okay, explosive separations. And let's look at what happens to the change in the different energies. So the first one we'll consider is we compress the two springs. Oh, sorry, the two carts. We, we compress a spring by the two carts like this. Uh, the initial velocities are zero, we let go, and the spring expands and pushes the, the carts apart. Okay, so w just before we even look down, just try to practice what kinds of energies are involved here. Well, we're definitely going to have a potential energy, okay? And we don't have any kinetic energy initially, and um, there's no source energy, there's no... Um, like uh, gunpowder, there's no explosion, there's, no, there's nothing burning, nothing like that. There's no chemical or nuclear reaction, so there's no source energy involved, and we don't have any thermal energy. Then we let it go, the kinetic energy increases, and the potential energy that was in the spring, all of it gets converted to kinetic energy. So for this one, we know delta K plus delta U equals zero. So this is a reversible process. We, if we, uh, so it's a non-dissipative reversible interaction. Then what about this one? It looks very similar. Um, it starts off also both have velocities equal to zero, and we have a firecracker, and and we ignite it, and there's an explosion. Okay. So in this case, the the stored energy, so to speak. In this case, the stored energy was in this spring, and we could get it back. In this case, the stored energy is in the form of source energy. So there's, there's a chemical explosion. Okay, so there's, there's a lot of source energy here. There's no kinetic energy, no potential, and no thermal. And then as this explodes, can you see that some of it gets converted to kinetic energy, and the rest gets converted to thermal energy. Now, this is dissipation. You would agree that we cannot recover this energy. So, if we look at this in terms of the equation, we have delta K, the change in K, plus delta E chemical, which is your source energy, plus delta E thermal. Okay. So this for this it would be a, this would be a positive delta, that would be a negative delta, and that would be a positive delta, and all of these need to add up to zero. Okay.